What's up, everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game here with what's sure to be the final video in my uh, Pokemon Violet playthrough. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> yeah, we've been through the DLC, both DLC parts. Uh, we've been through the main game. Now we are at the epilogue. So, if you don't know what to do, let me just show you how to get everything we're about to do. It's probably why you clicked on this video. <laughs> but we are claiming the mythical Pika Berry. Uh, learn how to claim your mythical pick in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in order to play the Hidden Treasure of Area Zero P Epilogue, which is what we're at tonight. Uh, once you've received your gift, head to Masui Town in the land of Kitakami and drop by Peachy's. The alluring aroma of your mythical pick might cause something too special to happen. Use these steps to claim your in-game gift. Uh, we need to launch Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which we've done. Select Poke Portal on the X menu and select Mystery Gift. Get via the internet, choose the gift you want to receive, watch as the gift arrives in your game, your mythical Pikaberry will appear in the key items pocket of your bag, be sure to save your game. Uh, as far as I know, it's starting right now and there's no real end to it, so you do have, and you do need Nintendo Switch, uh, yeah, you gotta connect to your Nintendo Switch system, and you have to be able to connect to the internet, that's a couple things. And here it is. Our mystery gift has arrived. Has arrived. Right? Yeah, I'm saying that right. Okay. <laughs> we go up to Pe this is uh, Peachy's shop right here in Kitakami. Uh, it's, it's right near the rec center. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to see this little pink thing right here. <laughs> Once you click on this, the madness begins. There's a dusty old decoration of some sort mixed in with all the daily goods and things. And it smells incredibly sweet. Don't touch it! <laughs> the decoration appeared to move a little bit. Oh, that's my phone. Excuse me, I gotta take this. Hey, Tim, yo, Arvin here. Hey, Peter, I heard the news. You've been late, having all kinds of uh, big adventures, huh, little buddy? School trips, studying abroad, what luck. Yeah, it's been pretty sweet. <laughs> Catching legendary Pokemon? Yeah, man, I'm jealous to hear that. Wish it could have gone along, too. Ooh, Got to ask. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's been one crazy thing after another since you came to our school. <laughs> Long story short, we want you out. <laughs> Get out. Don't come back. <laughs> I guess you've still been bit real busy lately, but our thing's starting to settle down. I was thinking that if you have time, and only if you want, of course, maybe I could come visit you at your house? Something wrong? <laughs> Ah, uh, nothing like that. I just thought, you know, friends go to each other's houses and steal their stuff and stuff. <laughs> so I guess I'll come over. Your house is in Cabo Poco, right? I never said yes. I'll meet you out front. See you there. Great. Arvin's coming over. Okay. My god, what's this? <laughs> Clay for chips, two for a dollar? Wait, hold on. The thing is gone. And thus begins the Hidden Treasure of Area Zero epilogue, Mochi Mayhem. Let the madness begin. Oh, and look who's waiting for us there. <laughs> These guys. There he is. Oi, Tim. Ah, uh, these guys. <laughs> what, one awesome adventure was enough? <laughs> Figured I'd tag along. Hey there. You're all here. Why are you all here? <laughs> Tim, I, this is all my fault. Sorry. You know, when I called you and said I wanted to come hang, well, these two overheard, and what, were you just... <laughs> were you announcing your phone call to the entire class? <laughs> well, we weren't going to let you hog, all, hog the chance to visit Tim. It's way more fun to roll together. Just say that, but who wants a bunch of uninvited guests? That's just rude. Ah, don't worry about it. I guess if you're fine with it, Tim, then I can't really complain either. Okay, listen up, you two. You're not allowed to cause any trouble for Tim and his mom, got it? <laughs> Especially his mom. <laughs> We're gonna be perfect guests today. You bet. I don't know who you think you were educating here, but sure, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Penny's like the most well-behaved out of anyone. Actually, I shouldn't say that. She did uh, create... <laughs> was responsible for all of Team Star, so... She's the most irresponsible out of all of us. 
That was such a great meal. Can't believe we got, we got all that after we barged in out of nowhere. Her mom's cooking so good, Tim. Right? And she's so pretty. My brain literally glitched when I saw her. Alright, calm down, Penny. <laughs> I'm so glad she remembered me. And look at this huge room. Doesn't make you... Doesn't make you feel all boxed in like the dorm rooms do. Super cute. Seriously. Almost too much for me to take. I don't like my room being cute. <laughs> Maybe I should get rid of all the plushies. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's Nintendo Switch. You have to tell me what games you have got on this thing. Let's see. We got the Pokemon games. We got Home. We got Splatoon 3. Nintendo 64. We got Undertale. That's the next playthrough, by the way. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Mario Party Superstars. Pikachu Returns. Super Mario RPG. Mario Kart Deluxe. Pokemon Shield. <laughs> We're just getting started. We got Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Su uh, Pokemon Sword. Project Raincoat or whatever that thing is. Smash Brothers Ultimate. Pro Brilliant Diamond. Legends Arceus. Breath of the Wild. New Horizons. Game Boy. Genesis. Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Game Boy Advance. Whatever these things that came with Raincoat. No Man's Sky. YouTube. Fall Guys. Crunchyroll. Danganronpa, Splatoon 2, Tunic, Road 96, Kirby's Dream Buffet, Pokemon Shining Pearl, Tetris 99, Kirby the Forgotten Land, Pikachu, Let's Go, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, <laughs> Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, which I never really did a video of because it was kind of weird, WarioWare, Get It Together, Metroid Dread, Danganronpa S, which was just a huge cash grab, just saying, Skyward Sword HD, Mario Odyssey, Arms, Mario Party, Superstar, or what, Super Mario RP, whatever, Pokemon Unite, Pokemon Snap, and and Funimation. Some of those weren't games, some of them were apps. <laughs> I love this Squovit plush. This fl this fluff's to die for, yes. <laughs> you should see the rest of them. <laughs> the plushes are right behind me, aren't they? <laughs> How's everybody doing? Anyone want dessert? I was thinking of bringing up some sweets. Sweets, yes! No way. We couldn't possibly ask you for more food. We don't We don't mean to be a hustle. Hassle, I mean. We don't want to be a hassle. <laughs> oh, sweetie, no need to stand on... No, no, no need to stand on ceremony here. Just make yourselves at home and relax. Y yes, ma'am. Oh, and Tim, a letter came for you. It's from Kieran. Do you know a Kieran? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> My word, you've been making plenty of friends. Here you are. I wonder what would happen if I said no. <laughs> okay, I'll just throw this in the garbage. I'll bring those sweets up in just a few. Hope you'll all enjoy them. I'll come help. Yeah, I want to check out the sweets too. <laughs> Can't wait. Need sweets. Your mom sure is nice, Tim. You're real lucky. <laughs> Both my parents abandoned me. Oh, but what about that letter? Aren't you going to at least open it up? Dear Tim, how are you doing lately? I took a leave from school, so I'm back in Masui town for a while. My sis came back with me, too. I know we didn't get much of a chance to talk after everything that happened in the Under Depths. I'd really like to catch up. Think you could swing a, swing a visit to Kitakami? Carmine would love to see you. I'm sure maybe you could bring your friends from Paldea, too. I include plenty of tickets. Who's this Kieran guy? Some new friend or something? Who told you you could have friends? <laughs> Yeah, he's a fr he's a friend. <laughs> Pause. What's with the weird hesitation? There's some kind of story there. Not that it's my business. <laughs> Tim, Arvin, you're not gonna believe how good this stuff is. L looks. There's too much to carry upstairs. Come on down here and eat. Did someone like t call ahead and tell my mom that I was bringing friends over? Because I didn't even know there were gonna be more than more than Arvin here. Hasn't she ever heard of Inside Voice? Uh, I guess we better go, or she'll keep on shouting. Later on that evening, <laughs> at the Legion of Doom. <laughs> Ooh, my poor gut. I feel like it'll burst if I eat another bite. <laughs> I think what you're trying to say is thank you for mu thank you so much for feeding us. It was all really delicious. That's what you meant, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I'll help with the dishes and stuff. Oh, aren't you the sweetest thing? But you need you no know, need but no need to lift a finger. You kids just take it easy. Thanks, ma'am. You're the best. At least Amona's got manners. I'll give her that. Unlike this one. 
Uh, why are you looking at me? <laughs> Say, Tim, about that letter. Hey, Peter, what was the last place your new pal mentioned? Kitakami or something? You really gonna go there to meet this Kieran guy again? We should go together. Wait, what? You're going somewhere? Oh, uh... Did we miss something? Something good? Spill it. <laughs> Three hours later... Are you serious? We're definitely going with you. This Kieran kid was a champion of super elite of a super elite battle academy, right? I gotta meet him. Or like, I've gotta battle him. What's the difference? <laughs> I feel kind of bad though. Like we just invited ourselves along on your trip without asking. This guy said the guy said bring friends, and where are those friends? He even sent us tickets. Yep, friends equals us. Ergo, we get the tickets. <laughs> you bet we do. This will be the first time going on a trip with friends. Kind of scary and exciting at the same time. Yeah, now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever been ever taken a trip with a friend either. You're kidding. Well, this is gonna be amazing. So get excited. Do on go on. Get excited. Woo. <laughs> Guess I'll bet I better at least tell the housekeeper over at my place I'll be away for a while. Why don't we break for now? Do whatever. A prep we got prep we gotta go do. Why can I not talk? And meet up again later. Sounds good. Let's say we meet up again in front of Mexico's Southern Gate. Roger, see you all there later, then. Let's go, team! Thanks for having us over. Oh, did Nimona and the others leave already? Did you not hear them shout, think they were leaving? Come on now. Come on, Mom, you were literally ten steps away. Your friends are such nice kids. I was really glad to meet all of them. And now it sounds like you're about to go uh, have a little adventure together, huh? Who told you you can have adventures? <laughs> well, ha well, have fun if you do. Have fun if you do. If you don't have fun, <laughs> then don't have fun. I don't know. <laughs> no fighting and be sure to look after one another. I mean, we're gonna fight. We're gonna battle. That's gonna happen. <laughs> so, we are here in front of the school now. Uh, once you just roll up here, that's where everything begins. Hey, Peter, over here. Over here. The three people standing in front of the school. How do you not- how can you not see this? <laughs> Alright, Tim, did you load up on travel snacks? Your bag full of grub? Oh my gosh, Dad, would you just drop it? I told you- I told you, friends, I'm going with friends. No, you don't need to be worried about it. We are perfectly capable of taking care of ourselves. Uh, no, it's not gonna be an adventure. No one says that. Honestly, I'm hanging up now. <laughs> oh, I wonder who her dad is. <laughs> ah, suddenly, I'm too tired for any of this. Did you get your old man's okay to go? <laughs> yeah, in the end, but I had to put up with his ultra-mega annoying dad talk to do it. He just ultra-mega cares, little bud. Never say that to me again. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, well, we got all, oh, now that we're done talking about our parents, <laughs> Arvin's like, I don't have any parents. We've got all, we've all got permission, and we're all, we're all here. <laughs> no one forgot anything, right? Then vamos, let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're here in Kitakami. <laughs> oh, so this is Namasui Town. That's right. These guys were never here. <laughs> You all smell that, right? It kind of smells different than Paldea. <laughs> it's got a very earthy aroma. Uh, my head's still spinning too fast to see anything. Are we there yet? <laughs> Maybe we wouldn't have gotten so car sick if you hadn't start stared at your. You have, <laughs> Maybe you wouldn't have gotten so car sick if you hadn't stared at your phone the whole bus ride. But I didn't know how. I didn't know if we'd get a signal here. I had to load up on internet goodness while I could. Really, <laughs> you are such a child. <laughs> Why hello there? <laughs> Who let you all in? Hiya. Hiya, indeed. I'm the caretaker here, and it's a pleasure to welcome you to our town. Kieran had mentioned you all would be coming. Tim aside, this is everyone's first time visiting Kitakami, is that right? Yes. Oh, what happens if I say no? <laughs> I really gotta pick the no option. Yeah, that's the long and short of it. I see, I see. Well, again, you're most welcome. <laughs> You can sleep here at the community center. All the rooms have been freshened up for you. 
Whoa, now that's some thoughtful service. <laughs> it's no trouble. Now please relax and enjoy yourselves. But most of all, enjoy Kitakami. Thank you so much, sir. Very much, sir. So what about that cured guy? Have you heard from him at all? Uh, not since the letter. Excuse me? He doesn't have a smartphone? How is this kid even alive? <laughs> he must not want any distractions from training. Think he's got his house? Should we go meet him? Should we go battle him? Let's go right now. <laughs> Real quick, this might be my last chance to get like a to get, to get this kind of photo opportunity. Perfect. I like it. All right, now we can continue. <laughs> The Kieran's here, I think they said Carmine's here too. Just wanna Yeah. Wow, we're combining two groups of friends. <laughs> this is either gonna be really interesting or really terrible. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Tim, oh man, it's been too it's been a long time. Thanks so much for coming. Sorry that I couldn't meet you on the bus at uh, the bus stop. Things have been crazy at home. Great to see you. Uh, thanks. But wait, did you come all by yourself? Uh, you were... Yo, we're here too. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Nimona. Let's battle. <laughs> you're Kieran, yeah? Tim told us all about you. Like how you're a great Pokemon, great Pokemon battles, right? Uh, well, I, I, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> Dial back a notch or nine. You're scaring him. <laughs> I'm Penny. I'm like a certain someone. I'm fine with taking friendships nice and slow. And I'm Marvin, Tim's absolute best friend. Let's not forget that, Kieran. Staking <laughs> your claim right from the get-go, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, well, I'm Kieran. I met Tim when he came here for that school trip. That's when we became friends. Um, what else? Oh, I'm a student at Blueberry Academy. Or, I mean, I was a student there. I'm on break right now. Whoa, really? I know how I know how that goes. Same thing happened to me. <laughs> Penny, don't go sympathizing with the enemy. I thought I could count on you at least to keep the interloper at arm's length. Interloper? <laughs> eh, I just get the feeling we're pretty alike. Wow, your friends seem like a quirky group. Kinda like you, huh? <laughs> yes, very like me. Anyways, a friend of Tim is a friend of mine. I know you all have a good time you all have a good time staying in Kitakami. Thanks, now let's battle! Get over here! <laughs> what what? <laughs> that space in front of the community center. Looked like a good spot, battle spot. Vamos, come on! <laughs> you better go battle her, dude. <laughs> She's not gonna let this go. Does she want me to go with her? Am I supposed to ba go battle her? <laughs> You've got this. No, I don't. <laughs> oh man. She's just pu pushing his sisters, but, like, different. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, uh, I think we may have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> this Kieran kid might actually be a good guy. Of course he is, he's friends with Tim. <laughs> you, you Arvin, you made a big mistake. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Alright, let's... I want to see this battle though, I kind of want, I mean... Freaking Kieran and Nimona, that's like two of the strongest trainers in this game just duking it out. Crazy battle. See Kieran using freaking Hydrapple and the Mona is a complete mystery. Is a complete mystery. Yep. Okay. You aren't kidding. Kieran's great. Let me see which Pokemon I should I use for our next battle. Dude, we were gone like ten seconds. <laughs> Talking about the next battle already. I got completely destroyed. Who the heck is Nimona anyway? Yeah. <laughs> She's my rival. <laughs> you consider her a rival, Tim? Okay, yeah, it makes sense that she's so good then. Here, and you're so good. That was awesome. No wonder you were the champion of that fancy pants school of yours. But, but I couldn't beat you. Does it really matter? Whether you win or lose, Pokemon battles are a blast. 
You could learn something from her. Yeah, that's true. That's the mona for you. You better you get used to it. <laughs> you okay? Feel like running you th feel like run running for the hills yet? <laughs> hey now! <laughs> Not before we have another battle. <laughs> you can run later. <laughs> Not at all. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I really had a lot of fun. See? Oh, hello. Ah! Whoa, who the heck are you? <laughs> and what's with your eyes? Holy crap. Sis, you okay? I think she's got the madness. <laughs> Ma, Mo. Mochi, mochi! What, it, what am I looking at here? <laughs> I'm looking at the most demented chicken dance I've ever seen in my life. What's wrong? Mochi, 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 mochi! Is this your big sister, Karen? Did she, do you think she wants to in on the battle on the battlefront too? <laughs> There's no way that's what's going on here. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, but could you just help me just, uh, just, just carry my sis somewhere safe? You want us to pick her up and drag her off? I mean, if you say so, I, I guess I'll do it. If that's what you want. <laughs> she just keeps on dancing. <laughs> you sure you don't want to stay with your sister? She should be okay. Gramps and Grandma look after her during the day, but they must have taken their eyes off her for just a sec earlier. Sorry for making you all help out with that. Oh, I mean, it's no big deal at all. Happy to help out, but... Yeah, I gotta ask, is everything okay with your sister? She seemed pretty, uh, riled up and chicken-like. <laughs> She's not usually like that. <laughs> I can vouch for that. She's never like that. <laughs> She's way less entertaining. <laughs> well, that's a relief. I think she was just really excited to get to meet you all. That is not what's happening. You really think that's what that was? Really, bro? Really? Yeah, that's that's got to be why she's dancing that weird dance and screaming mochi mochi. <laughs> or she just really wants some mochi. How long? Yeah, I kind of want to ask how long she's been doing that. I mean, she's been like that since I, sp I sent you that letter, Tim. She was already dancing and all by the time I woke up the next day. No explanation. I guess that really isn't normal, is it? Maybe the other folks in town are right. Maybe this really is a curse. <laughs> Wait, it should could be a curse? You, you didn't say that before. <laughs> well, this trip just took a real sudden dive into the horror movie territory. I'm going to go anywhere else. <laughs> I know Zilch about curses, but could something like this have happened before? You ever heard of any old stories or legends about it? I don't know. Uh, Tim already took care of the whole thing with Ogre Pond and the Loyal Three. Yeah, by taking care of them, I mean I totally caught them. <laughs> Sheesh, Tim, you really just rolled on through this town like a little hurricane, huh? My sis is no filter, and and be inconsiderate and push people's buttons. Also, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm pretty sure she buried a body in the backyard, but I can't find it anywhere. But I'd still rather see her be her old self than whatever this is. Yeah, for sure. Uh, if there's anything you think we can do to help, just say the word. What? Sure, we'll help out. I definitely don't believe in horror movie tropes like curses anyway. Yeah, let's do this. We get to battle a curse. I'm so here for it. <laughs> I'm gonna stab that curse in the face. I'm like, okay, calm down, Nimona. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get that curse. <laughs> get it. <laughs> you guys sure you don't mind? Friends help at one another. 
Or some nonsense. <laughs> the power of friendship can never be broken by a curse. Okay. <laughs> Tim. No, all of you. Thank you. It's too late to start today, but I'd be real grateful if you all could help out, help me out tomorrow. First, we're going to have a proper welcome party tonight at the community center. Ah, let's do it! Hey, count me in! And we're all talking at once. Later on that evening... Yeah, this is the lamest party ever. I got some soda! No, you don't. <laughs> sugar and combination... Sugar and carbonation, my two languages. <laughs> You find Peachy's all right? Uh, yep, yeah, no problem. It's so close by. There was nobody there, so I just left the money on the counter. Do you think that was okay? Oh yeah, that old lady who runs it steps away sometimes, so everybody does that. No worries. <laughs> Man, I can't imagine anyone getting away with that back in Paldea. <laughs> you got like those lack those laid back towns where you can just leave the money on the counter. <laughs> Wait, Nimona, uh, I've, what's with all what's all that? What's all all over your what's all over your mouth? Were you eating snacks without us? <laughs> when I see a help yourself sign, I don't ignore it. There was just one mochi left that oh boy. <laughs> hey hey Peter, you have any idea how to change the channel on this TV? It just keeps playing this. The same tourism video over and over. Ah, come on, I've seen it like ten times now. <laughs> oh, the caretaker hit the remote somewhere, so the video is all we can get on the TV. Okay, crew, new new goal. Find the clicker so we can all watch a movie or something. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? We just need to find it. Oh, uh-huh. Why didn't I think of that? Time to search this place top to bottom. Find the... Then the, we play games up on that big screen. Haha, <laughs> it's like our own little treasure hunt. Everyone grab a corner and start searching. No way! <laughs> What's the matter? Are you worried we'll get in trouble or something? Just relax. How about this, then? Let's say whoever finds the remote gets to decide what we do. <laughs> hey, Kira, no fair. Getting a head start. <laughs> Everyone just goes at their own pace. Okay, so they chose that way. Oh, is it the shiny thing in the plant? <laughs> hey, there's something in this planner. You found the remote control for the TV. Yeah, if you want to hide something, kind of leave it in plain sight. What? No way. That means you get to choose what we do. I just be like hot potato, throw it in the middle of them, watch them fight over it. <laughs> Wowzers. Of course you found it first, Tim. Hey, friend, you agree with me that we should use that big old screen to play games, right? Oh, uh, where'd Nimona going off to? Is she in the bathroom or something? No, I was checking around there earlier. I'm pretty sure I would have seen her go in. She didn't head into the restrooms in the back either. I was by the door in the, to the hall the way this whole time. Think I know what's going on. She must be waiting to jump out and scare us. Hmm, I tried her phone, but she's not picking up. Okay, I love that Eevee phone case. <laughs> you tried calling her? I didn't hear the, her phone ring or anything. That's weird. Huh, that is weird. So, does that help us figure out where she is? Well, it means she's not here. Probably outside. Maybe she was set on finding that remote. Uh, she went outdoors to look for it? Uh, I guess that makes sense. Maybe she forgot to get something at the shop. I just hope she didn't wander out of town. Hitakami's dangerous at night if you don't know your way around. I think Tim and I should go look for her outside. Arvin, Penny, can you two stay here for now? What? But... What if she comes back while we're out? We have a better chance of finding her if you stay here and... You can uh, call us if she does. That's true. Okay, but be careful out there. We'll hold down the fort till you get back. Let's go, Tim. Alright, roll out. Huh? There's still some people out. Hard to tell with the sundown, but I think those two are workers from the orchard. We don't go... We don't... Why don't we go ask them and see if, we, if they've seen the Mona? Let's go. Pokemon team is ready, yeah. Oh, uh, our eyes are purple. <laughs> Excuse us. Not 
talking. Anybody in there? Something's off about them. Meh, meh. Mochi. Mochi. Oh no. Mochi. Think they've got the madness! Mochi, Mochi! Whoa, what the heck? What's going on? Mochi, Mochi, Mochi! You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Shinge and Pokemon Trainer Aya. Shinge sent out Rarydos, Aya sent out Salazzle. Ooh, okay, double down on the poison types. Send out Psychic. We got Water and Psychic and a Water and Fighting. <laughs> Mochi, Mochi! Right. Mochi indeed. Just go muddy water on him, yeah. Oh, God, sweet scent. Ew. No. Get that scent off me. I'm amazed, like, nine generations into Pokemon, and we're like. Invasionist has just never been like an issue, unless they use like double team. Muddy water. Oh, come on. Use sticky web. Okay, I guess I'm not switching out now. Oops, so now victory bell. Some psychic noise on that victory bell. I figured a uh, polygraph would go after the Ariados. So they're all using poison types. Oh, stun sport. How slow is slow, bro? I mean, I know it's slow, but I didn't think it was slow enough. I, mean, I got this thing guy at level 100 here. Psychic noise. Nice. Sorry, Victor Bell. Actually, I'm more sorry about the polygraph getting paralyzed. Oh, okay, type that's not poison. I'm gonna sit on him. Jeez. Baron's taking a beating. Wish. I feel bad about it, but the only thing we can do is battle from them until... Battle them until... Okay. Close combat. There you go. Kill that bird. <laughs> Closing Noctowl fainted. Alright, good job, Kieran. Way to pick up the spare. Defeated Pokemon Trainer Shinge and Pokemon Trainer Aya. <laughs> Mo. Chi chi. And I got. I, and I take their money. <laughs> I mean, they're under a curse. They're not gonna. Not gonna need money. <laughs> money doesn't cure curses. <laughs> At least not on their health plan. Oh, chi chi. Phew! That scared the snot out of me. Still scaring the snot out of me. What are you talking about? What's gotten into them? They're perfectly fine when they saw them yesterday. What the heck is going on around here? Maybe there really is a curse. Hey, you're right. That weird dancing and yelling, it's what my sis was doing. These two get wrapped up in this whole curse thing, too? Oh, man, I can't believe Nimona Vance. She's right there. She vanished at a moment, at a time like this. We could really use her help. She's right there. <laughs> Can you find Nimona? There she is. Good job. <laughs> sure looked like her, all right. She ran out toward Kitakami Hall. Why? Come on, we should go after her. All right, hold up, Nimona. We're coming. Get on. <laughs> Think that's uh, Kieran and Carmine's grandparents. Oh, hello there, Kieran, and you too, Tim. Grandpa, Grandma, what are you both doing here? Is Carmine okay? And did you see a girl come by here? Uh, slow down, Kieran, one question at a time. <laughs> what are we doing here? I don't know. Where's Carmine? Carmine is at home, sleeping in her room. She must have tuckered herself out with all that dancing. Phew, so she's safe. 
We thought we'd step out while well, she slept to get some of our favorite noodles from the stall here. The taste of her favorite food might help snap her out of whatever was going on with her. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Good thinking, Grandpa. Now, oh, what was all that you were asking about some girl coming this way? Is she a friend of yours? Oh, right. Everyone in town's acting all weird. And one of the girls came here from Paldea and went missing. She's really loud and full of energy. <laughs> oh, I know exactly who you're talking about. Well, now that you mention it, we did run into a rather boisterous stranger in the village earlier. Kept screaming about Mochi or some nonsense. You spoke with her, dear. What did she say? Dearest. Have some Mochi. Uh, I don't need any Mochi at the moment. Dear, have some Mochi. Eat it. Eat the mochi, Grandma. This is awfully sudden, dear, but uh, I suppose if you insist. <laughs> Rule number one of being a good husband, never turn down your wife's cooking. <laughs> oh, oh, or significant other. Sorry, I shouldn't be so narrow-minded. <laughs> Alright, I've had some mochi, dear. Now can we get back to the question... Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Grandpa, you okay? Oh, oh no, no. Mochi, mochi, he's got the madness. <laughs> huh? Oh, she's also got the madness. Mochi Mochi! You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> God, they've got the madness! Okay, I'm done. <laughs> For now. Mochi! Challenged by Grandma Hideko and Grandpa Yakito. We're finally giving them names. <laughs> Hideko sent out Chandelier, Yakito sent out Arbok. Good thing they gave them names, because I seriously thought one of, I seriously thought they were Jesse and James from Team Rocket for a while. <laughs> mochi, mochi! Mochi, mochi! No, you will, you will not intimidate me. <laughs> Can't say the same thing for Polyrath. Take down that Arbok. Oh, I thought that would brought down Chandelier for sure. Mochi. Oh, energy ball. Oh, sorry, Polyrath. Ew. Grandpa, Grandma, what's gotten into you? Mochi. <laughs> Psychic noise. Mochi. No, that is not Mochi. <laughs> oh man, why'd this have to happen? I guess we've got no choice but to beat him. Yeah, that's kind of what we've been doing. Oh, sending it. See, I'm. <laughs> this is why I think they're Team Rocket. They got freaking Arbok and Weezing. I'm sure one of them has a victory bell, just saying. Finish off that Chandler. There we go. Stop with the sludge. Stop being gross. I know you're a poison type, but you don't have to be gross. I know you got two and a half heads, but you don't have to be gross. Or two and a partial head, I don't know. Okay, we can tag team this uh, Mammoth Swan. No one body press. You just cannot finish things off, can you, Kieran? <laughs> Wait. Sorry, Polyrath. Dang, I actually do like Polyrath. <laughs> one of the few fighting Pokemon from first from Gen 1. Uh, that's it. Grandpa 
All right, put the grandparents back in their retirement home. It's past their bedtime. <laughs> Eat mochi. Mo mochi, mochi. How many more times am I gonna hear the freaking word mochi today? <laughs> I guess well, at least one more. Mochi. Oh man, no way. Gramps and Grandma too. Everyone's losing it. And by it, I mean their sanity. It's just a matter of time until it gets me. <laughs> I'm gonna end up like all the rest of them. We'll stop it. <laughs> All you have to do is not eat the mochi. Okay, sorry. Kind of panicked there. Thanks, Tim. Well, let's think. Before uh, Graham started acting like Carmine, he ate some of that weird mochi. For the Toto Toto. Tim, how are you two doing out there? You okay? You okay, Peter? Hey, Peter. Yeah, thank goodness. Just hearing your voice has helped me calm down. We got word because he hadn't, uh, we hadn't heard from you in a while, so we decided to step outside. Want to step outside, bro? Things are weird out here, little buddy. We got, uh, we were attacked by all those folks shouting mochi mochi at us, and we couldn't spot you anywhere, so I was beginning to fear the worst. We're holding tight by the Peachy's place for the moment, but... Ah! Ah! There's something out there. There's something there. There's something there, Arvin. Oh, it's Penny. <laughs> uh... Penny, what? Uh, it was weird. They had Arvin's face on there, but I guess it's his phone, so. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you two okay? Oh, crud. This is not good. Think clatter, clatter. Boop, boop, boop. Arvin. Hey, Arvin. <laughs> Something must have got them. Yeah, they'll be fine. <laughs> Grandpa, Grandma, I'll be back. Just don't go anywhere. <laughs> Just give them some mochi. They'll be fine. I still want to find Pat Nimona, but uh, we gotta get to Pe Peachy's and check out Arvin and Penny. Come on. Let's go. Get on! I forgot I can fly. Oh. Oh, there's another one. This thing. <laughs> Kieran's like, this thing can fly too? <laughs> Yeah, you're just gonna have to get used to me being better than you, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I swear to God, if you two say mochi, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Arvin, Penny, there you guys are. You both okay? Did you eat any mochi? <laughs> ah, yeah, sorry about hanging up on you like that. Probably gave you the wrong impression. It was all Penny's fault. She went into full panic mode and ran smacking me with her head, so I dropped my phone. Can you blame me? Look at the people in this town. Something's seriously wrong with them. Like, way weirder than my dad, and that's saying a lot. Never mind whatever that weird thing was. Weird thing? What are you talking about? It was, like, round and a little and weird. Great, great description. <laughs> and just where is this little hallucination of yours? You sure you weren't just seeing stuff? It was real. I really saw it. You yeah, sure you did. I think I must, uh, I might have figured out why everyone is acting so strange. Until n we know for sure, though, maybe we should- Oh, God! Whoa, heads up, guys! There's something up there. <laughs> it's little, and it's weird. <laughs> I don't think it's the same thing Penny, Penny saw. <laughs> Look, up there. Oh, oh, God, that is weird. That thing I saw earlier, is that a drone? No. I think it's a Pokemon. Oh, God. Who would open their mouths like that? Oh, nice dodge. Don't! <laughs> Boing! Uh-oh. They ate the mochi. <laughs> huh? Is this mochi? It's kind of sweet. I like it. <laughs> no way! Don't eat those! Whoa, whoa, what? Oh, no. Oh no, you two okay? Mo, mo, mochi, mochi! They've got the madness! <laughs> okay, Arvin dancing is the best thing ever. <laughs> it's like he can't even dance even when he's insane. 
Mochi, mochi! Mochi, mochi! Penny! Mochi, mochi! Whoa, does Penny seem uh, even more worked up than, everyone's, than everyone else? <laughs> but more importantly, I'm so sorry if only I managed to warn them in time. I mean, you kind of did. <laughs> Those weird mochi came from that thing. Cat Mochi! Mochi! Chi! <laughs> Wait, no fear. That jerk's using them as a shield. Penny's like way more into the dance than everyone else. <laughs> yeah, Arvin is a freaking wallflower. <laughs> Penny's just going at it with that dance. Holy crap. <laughs> we gotta find some way to get the two of them to calm down. I mean, Arvin's... Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I don't think Arvin's too worked up right now, but... Should I, like, dance with them? Yay! Dancing! Okay, yes. This isn't working. Okay, we gotta fight him. I don't like it, but I think battling Arvin and Penny might be the only way. Yeah. Okay, we used Slowbro last time. Probably gonna be fighting Eevees this time. Let's go with Skeldurge. Here we go. Mochi. 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 Challenged by Pokemon Trainer and Penny and Pokemon Trainer Arvin. Arvin cannot dance. <laughs> then again, I'm no better. <laughs> I mean, we can just watch this. We can just make the whole video of this. <laughs> Pokemon Trainer sent out Umbreon and Arvin sent out Grievance. Should definitely use a fighting type, but we'll we'll make do. No, mo, mochi, mochi. Right. Just go torch song on Greedent. Freaking baby doll eyes. It's gonna hurt later on. Should be enough to get the knockout ingredient. Chi! It's gonna bring his defense down, unfortunately. Torch Song! Light him up! Alright, so I'm gonna get a special attack boost. Sorry, squirrel. It's not a cloister now, oh boy. Might be a problem. Just keep torch songing. Combat. Okay, we'll take out Arvin's Pokemon first. Light him up. And every torch song makes him stronger, so that's good. This is gonna hurt. Especially after two close combats. Freaking Mob is stiff. God, this is three. Okay. So they each have three. Yeah, no, you're not bringing back. <laughs> we should probably. Let's focus on taking down Arvin. Don't worry about. Yeah. Oh, jeez. A dog. <laughs> Never trust a dog that smiles like a freaking crocodile. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Sorry, Arvin. <laughs> I feel bad fighting freaking Mava Stiff after everything that we had to do in the main story. <laughs> Mochi! You're, you're done. Have a seat. No more Mochi for you. Ooh, Kieran's got Grimstar? Nice. <laughs> Did he use that in our battle? He, sh he probably should have. Like 
Thank you. Even though it's a special attacker. It's using special, it's using psychic on us. Really? After all those torch songs, it's still not powerful enough? Ow. Another torch song. Get a light screen up. That's basic, that's basic Grim Snarl. You'll see, like, light screen, reflect, taunt, spirit break. No. <laughs> a little late there, buddy. Here comes Sylveon. Keep using Torch Song. Seems like the best way to do to go here. It's two EV evolutions down. I think she has got she got third one. Oh, Vaporeon. No, it's either Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon. I think yeah, the only two EV evolutions. Maybe, maybe, maybe Leafeon. That's why she waited on that one. That's why she didn't want to send that. Out. Yeah. <laughs> The only two EV evolutions she doesn't have are Espeon and Glaceon, to my knowledge. Alright, light it up. No, no, baby dollizing your way out of this one. <laughs> Gotta take it like a big whatever the heck you are. There you go. Burn it down. Light it up, burn it down. Aye, Ichi, Chibi. <laughs> there are people dancing in the background. Yeah, there's someone over there freaking chicken dancing. Michi. <laughs> Mochi. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take my money from my friends because they're my friends and my money. I earned that money. Mochi. <laughs> Arvin, Penny, I'm real sorry, guys. Where do you think you're going? You're next. Meh. Meh, cha 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 cha. Wait. <laughs> Jeez, just hit it with. Just kick it. <laughs> Rob and kick it. Alright, here we go. It's gotta be somewhere around here. Well, it better be. I mean, after we came all the way here. Oh, no. They're... We really should have, like, put them in a cage or something. I don't know. Throw them in a closet. <laughs> put them both in a closet together. Seven minutes in heaven. <laughs> Wait, is that... Nimona, thank goodness you're okay. She's not okay, bro. <laughs> no one is okay. Mochi! Mochi! She's got the madness! <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm getting tired of that now. Throwing my voice out. <laughs> I should have figured. <laughs> mochi, mochi match. Okay, we're gonna have a mochi match. <laughs> she just say match. Guess even the mochi couldn't override that battle mania completely. <laughs> run, run. Oh man, it's got control over Nimona. There's no way I can hold her, hold her off. I can. <laughs> Oh boy, they <laughs> friggin' thriller video got to us. <laughs> They've got the madness. This is bad. Everybody from Masui is coming here. <laughs> you handle all 19 of them. I'll take the one person. <laughs> well, fair is fair. Half, half and half, you know? Right, right. Good luck. <laughs> I'll focus on keeping the villagers from getting any closer. Just summon Grimmsnarl, freaking reflect. <laughs> I'm thinking they'll just bounce right off, I don't know. Tim, you do your best with Nimona and whatever that thing is. <laughs> whatever that thing is indeed. Maybe everyone will go back to normal if you beat it. And Nimona's getting into the dance too, did you see there? Just like, freaking yeah. <laughs> She's always so energetic. They gotta make it like a, a pose in the game where you can do the dance too. <laughs> Alright. This has been fun, but it's time to duel. 
Oh wait, this is Pokemon. Time to battle. <laughs> mochi match! Mochi match! I like this music, though. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Nimona. Pokemon Trainer Nimona sent out Lycanroc. Alright, well, it started out good here with Urshifu. <laughs> mochi! Let's have a mochi full match! Yeah, we'll go out of close combat. Boom! Yeah. Get out of here with that. Oof, that, that's good. Mochi. Mochi. Uh, yeah, I brought down his defense, though. Sorry, Urshifu. All right, I'll go easy on Nimona. <laughs> Thought you were ready for Urshifu. Not Pomo. Yeah, it's a straight electric type. Let's go Cleaver. It's also a fighting type, but... Which is strong against rock, but weak against bugs, so I guess this kind of normals out. I hit with Stone Axe to get the Stealth Rocks off. Not a lot there, but still did some damage. Just come back. That could have been worse. This defense is down, so I should be able to bring it down with another attack. Mochi! Ha ha ha! Oh, you, don't you mochi me! X Scissor! Not very powerful, but yeah, with its defense down, that should be a knockout. Yep. About to send out Gudra. Let's, uh... We're going dragon versus dragon. That sounds good. Come on, Dragonite. Oh, you can do it. Stealth Rocks are doing their job. They say anything, we, any, like, any, we get anything with, like, Sturdy or something. Dance, Dragon! Dance! They didn't really dance, just kind of like, like, bleh. <laughs> Oh god, Ice Beam. Wow, okay. And it's frozen. Gonna try and go at it. Oh, it thawed out, cool. Nice. Breaking swipe. Nice! <laughs> nice try with that cheap ice beam attack. Actually, ice beam is pretty good for Gudra. Sorry, Dragonite. Okay. So now Milotech next. Yeah, uh. Don't believe. I don't have a grass type, huh? And uh, two of my Pokemon are weak to water. Okay, we're going slow, bro. Both water types. But I think I have the upper hand here. Oh, no dice. Body, sp body press, squish. A second noise in case you try to recover. I'm not gonna let you recover. Yeah, this thing does no recover. It is tanky. No recovering, you. One more body pressure to do the trick. Wish. <laughs> Gotta love body press. Let's send out Como. Oh, okay. Really wish I had a fairy type. <laughs> okay, well, it is. Dragon fighting type. I'm gonna hit it with Will O Wisp, then hex it. Yeah. I should do the trick. I know this battle is not that hard. I kinda wish my Pokemon weren't. I, I, my Pokemon just. Team I've been using throughout this whole thing kind of leveled up to 100 by now, so I figured, 
You know, most people are gonna have be at level 100 by now, so it should be a big deal. Will o wisp. Oh frick! Knows earthquake. Dang, Nimona. Should weaken a little bit. Cut down its attack a little bit. Yep. Hex. Okay, we get it. it knows Earthquake. <laughs> no one doesn't know? Hex. Yeah, I like that. And boom jam. <laughs> nice. Right. Meow Scarada. Okay. You know what? These are both our starters. Let's. <laughs> Yeah, this is the Skeledurge from the beginning of the game. Kept it with me the entire time. Let's light this thing up one last time. Okay, it's gonna turn into a grass type, I believe. Oh! No, it's a dark type now. <laughs> oh, curveball, Nimona. Well, here's a curveball for you, too. <laughs> My ghost is no longer a ghost. <laughs> He's a fire-headed boy. Fire hood, yeah, freaking with actual fire on his head. <laughs> no! I've got a candle on my head! Oh, nice try. <laughs> Weird that it has a dark terror, but then it uses a ghost-type attack. Torch song. Oh, come on. Not done yet. Match, match, matchy, mochi. <laughs> got to, we got to fight back on the mat. Fight back the madness. Here I go, chi. Oh, here we go. We're actually getting a dark attack. Flower. Oh no, grass tech. Seriously, use a freaking dark type attack if you're gonna dark Terra. Probably would have knocked him out there. There we go. Now Skarada down. Sorry, cat. <laughs> Brought a cat to an, to an alligator fight. A crocodile, whatever he is. <laughs> Still not sure. And the moon is down. Alright. Well, she seems happy, though. Mochi. Skills, Mochi. Okay, I actually want some Mochi right now because they've said it like a thousand times. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen with food. You mentioned food around me enough. <laughs> it gets me on a, on a psychological level and I become hungry. I just ate dinner, but now I'm hungry again. <laughs> cha-cha-cha! No more cha-cha-cha. <laughs> this song and dance ends now. <laughs> Huh? Huh? Do you want to challenge the strange Pokemon? Yes, I do. Cha cha cha! Yeah, send out Urshifu. And a cool thing here: if you send out Ogre Pond to fight this thing, you get kind of a little uh, mini cutscene where the Ogre Pond kind of reacts to it, thinking they got history together or something. Yeah, this is a poison and ghost type, so yeah, you're gonna want to hit with something pretty strong. You, you damage it, that means you can beat it. Keep it up, you got this. Yeah, it's dark and poison, so anything you use a Gengar on, oh god. So here's the thing: it's t toxic. Yeah, it has access to toxic, but then there's this poison puppeteer. Basically, it becomes confused now. Could have planned on this and done something. Oh man, can't hold out much longer. Hurry up and finish it, Tim. Sucker punch it. Confuse. Don't be confused. Just fight. Sucker punch. Oh, come on. Oh crap, nasty plot. Okay. That thing's nasty. Okay, we got this, Urshifu. Come on. 
We can blow. Good. Snap out of confusion. Fight. And boom jam. Nice. <laughs> Play my music. <laughs> Look, it's slowing down. Now's your chance to catch in a Pokeball. Okay, well, you hold off everyone behind me. Nah. Let's see which Pokeball I want to use here. Got the Heal Ball. I, I kind of want some that matches. Love Ball. Dream Ball. Ooh, Dream Ball. Ooh, or Beast Ball. Ooh. Tough choice. Sport Ball? No. Safari Ball? No. Beast Ball? I don't, I don't think the Beast Ball is the right aesthetic. Dream Ball. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. One, two, three. It's 100% capture, so we're fine. <laughs> Yay! We got the pit, the pick a berry. What I thought was a pick a berry, it's not. <laughs> you caught Pikarunt. It's Peach Pikarunt, the subjugation Pokemon. Its peach-shaped shell serves as storage for a potent poison. It makes poisonous mochi and serves them to people and Pokemon. Would you like to give it a nickname? Let's, see, let's take a look at summary real quick because this is actually interesting. It's locked in to these stats, to my knowledge. Yeah, it's locked in. It's always going to have a timid nature, 100%. Um, I think it's it's effort values, or not effort values, inter individual values are the same. Yeah, so you can always change this later on, but... Nasty plot, toxic. It's its own attack, malignant chain, which does as which has a 50% 50, 50 chance of uh, causing toxic poison. Its ability... Yeah, it has 100 base power. It's a special attack, malignant chain, so... That's why it's at 5 PP. I wonder if I can get that on Smeargle. And then Shadow Ball. Honestly, I think you'd be better off with Hex if you're using Toxic and Malignant Chain. It also can learn Recover, too, which is really good. And then Poison Puppeteer, that ability. Oh my god. Pokemon Poisoned by Pekarant moves will also become Confused. So, yeah, they get Poisoned and Confused, which is a deadly combination. Literally. <laughs> End of the box. And we get a Pokedex entry. Number 243. <laughs> Alright, we did it. Hopefully that stops everything. <laughs> did, did you get it? No. <laughs> and everyone else should be... Yeah, I guess that works. Okay, yeah, because catching it would automatically solve that problem. <laughs> sure, why not? I mean, I did get control of the Pokemon, so... Hard to say. Whoa, whoa, what are we doing all... What are we all doing here? How did I end up in Loyalty Plaza? We did it! Everybody's back to normal! Tim, Kieran, Peter! <laughs> the last thing I remember is getting to the shop. What, ha what happened? So first, and after that, but that, but then they all. <laughs> and I totally defeated Nimona. <laughs> sure you did, Kieran. Seriously? So all that mochi mochi stuff was, please stop saying mochi. Never say that again. <laughs> was because of some Pokemon. See, see, I told you it was real. I'm like dumb horror movie tropes like curses. I mean, it could technically be a curse if you think about it. That round little monster was behind everything, just like I said. Uh, when did you say that? <laughs> I don't remember. Anyway, Tim went caught. Tim went caught that thing as he does. Haha, <laughs> he sure did. He sure did catch another legendary. You son of a bit. Hey, where's Nimona? <laughs> whoa, whoa, what about Nimona? Uh, please, for the love of God, don't say mochi mochi. <laughs> mochi match! <laughs> God, the curse wasn't lifted! She's got the match! She's just... She's fine. <laughs> What's going on? Did we find the remote? That's what you want now? <laughs> Sheesh, glad you're back to normal now, at least... Back to as normal as she gets. Yep, more than everybody. You know, I had the crazy realistic dream that I was battling Tim. 
It was awesome. Sign me up to have that dream again. <laughs> Nimona really is something. Yep, sure is. <laughs> Kiki and Tim. Sis, Graham, Grandma. What the heck is going on? Why is everyone up here? Someone better start explaining. Did you find the body in the backyard? <laughs> uh, actually, uh, what, what a weird feeling. Somehow it feels like I'm seeing you for the first time in ages. Alright, everyone's happy. Yay! And we paint up to the sky and fade to black. Hey, you guys! <laughs> Are you really going home already? No one would mind if you stayed longer. Yep, time to head home. Uh, what kind of response is that? This is where you're supposed to say you'll miss us or that you'll visit again soon or something. Hey, uh, Tim, everyone. Thank you all so much for coming. Nah, we should be the ones thanking you for showing us such a good time. <laughs> the food, man. Everything we ate here was so good. Festival was a lot of fun, too. I even got to buy a VV mask. What <laughs> more could I you want? Yeah, I'll match your backpack. Eh, yeah, well, good. I'm glad you liked it here. Time flew, really flew by. Just goes to show how much fun we were having, huh? Wish I could fit in more battles against both of you, though. I kind of want to see Carmine and Nimona battle it out. <laughs> Carmine just getting increasingly angry and Nimona just, like, loving it. Just having, like, such a great time. Like, hey, hey, fun. Are you kidding me? You battled each of us a dozen times or more. No more! <laughs> Welcome to the Nimona Survivors Club. <laughs> Population everyone. <laughs> I'm really happy I got to meet you all. I've been thinking about it a lot, and I'm going to give Blueberry Academy another shot. I'm really going to go for it this time. You've got this. You've got this. Yeah, thanks, Tim. <laughs> uh, I guess that means my vacation's over, too. Time for me to head back to school, then. Hey, sis, thanks for, like, coming with me here and everything. This has been great, seriously. I'm real glad I got to come here and meet you all. And Karen, I'm really sorry for that, for trying to flex on you the way I did uh, when I got here. Huh? Where were you? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Arvin. Feel free to flex on Kiki as much as you like. I'll allow it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Wow, looks like Carmine's another <laughs> another one with big personality, huh? Yeah, sorry about her. <laughs> Excuse me? Who do you think you're apologizing for? <laughs> Miss big personality with an even bigger mouth. <laughs> and you guys, what do you mean by big personality? <laughs> We're all such good friends. Okay. And there we go. That is the end of the end. <laughs> ah, this has been fun. And we got a new Pokemon, too, to boot. All kinds of good things happening. Okay, so this is new. We got access to Kieran's dorm room and Carmine's dorm room. I think we already had Carmine's dorm room. This is some extra stuff I wanted to take a look at. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. So we finally got access to Kieran's room. He's got the Ogre Pond mask. Looks like a battle strategy on the right. There are a lot of detailed notes on different Pokemon strengths and weaknesses. Looks like he's researching Hitmonlee, Malamar, yeah, all kinds of good stuff. This is strewn with things, strewn with things like TMs and study materials related to battling. Yeah, bro went all out. Battle court diagram covered in statistics. It's Kieran's bed. The bedding design has ancient lettering on it. Lots of chocolate treats are scattered around. Okay, yeah, this is my kind of room. <laughs> Kitchenette doesn't look like it's used much for any cooking. <laughs> Alright, so back at the club room, there's also one more thing I want to show. You got to uh, notice that there are more people can be invited to the room. And that's right, we can bring in... We can bring in Nimona, Arvin, and Penny. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember what uh, Pokemon you get from them exactly. Let me look that up real quick. Yeah, you actually, uh, if you, yeah, by completing Mochi Mayhem, you get Nimona, uh, Arvin, and Penny. Um, after their, their first battle reward, uh, Nimona will give you a Focus Sash. Arvin will give you Sandwich Cases. And uh, Penny will give you uh, 20 Smiling VV Picks. That's kind of cool. 
And let's see the trades that you get. Oh, this is cool. You get a uh, Nimona's Tauros. Yeah, which has a uh, so yeah, fighting type uh, Tauros. Yeah, fighting type Tauros, Raging Bull, Wild Charge, Double Edge, Close Combat. Cool. It's got Jolly Nature. Um. So you get Penny's Eevee with the anticipation. The Tauros you get is level fifty, but the Eevee you get is level one, so she probably bred that. <laughs> And then you get Arvin Squovit with the ability Gluttony. It's got a it's got a fighting terror type. That's interesting. It's got yeah nothing really. Yeah, it's level seven, so it's not that great. But hey, it's Squov. It's free Squovit, so. <laughs> and also, you can, if you can get uh, if you can somehow get uh, Kieran or uh, Carmine in the room, uh, Kieran will trade you an Applin, and then uh, Carmine will trade you a Poultry guy. So that's kind of cool. So that is actually going to wrap things up for uh, this video, guys. And that's going to wrap things up for really Pokemon Violet. <laughs> I'll still be doing, like, Link Battles and stuff every so often. So, yeah, definitely uh, tune in for those. But uh, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to Tim Plays Game. And stay tuned for whatever I do, whatever playthrough I do next. <laughs> Till next time, this is Tim from Tim Plays Game signing off. And have a good night, guys.